And Van Gerwen came into it with a level legs difference. That's gone up to plus two, so it would only take a couple more legs for Van Gerwen to switch that round, way. It isn't that important, I know, so early in the league. It's only the third week. But um, I think Van Gerwen would love to feel tonight that he's above Barney in the table. Well, he's going the right way here. 50. Deciding to leave. I think he's miscounted that. He's left 36, but I don't believe that was what he wanted to, wanted to do. Barney's put pressure on this. Yes, having been so, so good on double top. His last start was in 12, it surely should have been in eight and he'd have left himself tops. I agree with you, he probably miscounted. Has it cost him? Because Barney wants double eight to get the break back. That could be the change of this match. Michael Van Gerwen could have, OK, should have been leading 5-2. It's now back on throw. Yeah, well, we were expecting drama in this game. We're getting a little bit here. Even so, Wayne, for all that he ended up on the wrong double, I think he, I think you're right. He really ought to have got double 18, and he nearly did. Again, MVG kicking a leg off with a massive score. Put in the pressure. Firmly on, Raymond. He's in again. Was four perfect darts. And we just expect something from Michael now. VG stands for very good. And Van Gerwen is very good. VB stands for very bad. But Barnevelt is not very bad. These are two wonderful players giving us a wonderful game. And once again, Van Gerwen miles ahead of his opponent. For about the fourth time in this match, Wayne, he's been so far ahead, he's got a little bit of daylight. Can we see a 10 data? Yes, we can! That is the quickest leg of tonight. Brilliant. Well, after losing the last leg and the way he lost it by missing the three at 36, to do that, he's now oh, mentally strong oh, as well yeah. as being unbelievably good. And the pace of him, John, as well. Yeah. It's brilliant. Well, it's what people go to watch. They love to see a fast-flowing game. And whilst Barney is slower tempo than he can be, Van Gerwen picks it up beautifully, doesn't it? It's almost as though Van Gerwen could play against any player in the world, playing at any pace, any tempo, and it wouldn't change it. 125. Relies on his ability. Yeah. A great trait to have. And he's in again. 36 left. Of course he's 36 left. Oh, Never in doubt. Well, Barney hit two 180s in the sixth leg and ended up Easy losing it. I just have a feeling Van Gerwen missed 36 a couple of legs ago, but not this time. 6 3. Is that a 10 darter again? Back to back 10 darters during the World Championships. He missed the double for back to back 9 darters. Oh my goodness. He can do anything. The man has an incredible talent. Really buzzing now. Oh, he's just hitting scores for fun. A 177 in a 10 data. Two 180s in a 10 data. Kicks off then with a 177. Are we going to see another 10 data? Or even better? Rubbish. 100. No good. He flicks his end in disgust. Ludo.
ludicrous starts. He's so wrapped up now in his game, Wayne, that he's not aware of... Uh, he's not really aware of what Barney's doing. I'm sure he's just so much now enjoying this rich vein of form that he's in. Oh, unlucky 60 on the deck. And Barney, 1-3-6 to hold his throw. Needs to leave it handy. 96 left, got a committed to stay in there. Trouble 20. One 60 hit in, well, the trouble hit in everywhere. Michael van Gerwen is now averaging 105. And is the pressure all too much for Barney? Is it? Yes, it is. Well, this is for a 7-3 victory that'll take him level with Barney on points and on legs different. Brilliant performance 